Okay, we're going to tie the braided but beehead damselfly nymph. I'm using olive thread, marabou olive, some saddle, and some copper beehead. You'll need to cut a 30 centimeter piece of thread. Uh, put that away because you need to use it later for the braid braiding. Attach your bead to your hook and lie a base of thread. strip off some marabou and uh, cut off the white ends like that and tie in as a long full tail Turn the vise about a 45 degree angle away from you to help with the braiding. You separate about a third of the tail and use a clip of some sort. I'm using a small miniature clothespins. that separate the rest of it into two and again using a clip attach, attach it to the end you should end up with three groups of marabou for braiding. Uh, this is probably hard to see but you just do like normal braiding. Uh, left over the middle then the right and so on. Do about six or twelve times. Okay. You should end up with something like this braided. It's hard to see. Then you take your thread that you've cut earlier and you wrap it around the end. Tie off your thread and remove your clips. Trim the thread. You should end up something looking like this. Add a dab of head cement to where you tied off the body. Reposition your vise and add some dubbing for your body or thorax. I'm using some green squirrel dubbing. Wrap this right up to the to the bead head. Attach the hackle right behind the bead head. With two or three good tight turns. And trim off the tip. and wrap your hackle in st stroking back the fibers every turn.
tie off. Whip finish right behind the bead head. cement. Uh, pinch off the tail with your fingers and nails f to, to where you want it. And there you have the braided butt bead head damselfly nymph. You can make other large nymphs by changing the colors of the bead heads in your material. This might be a little hard to do with this braiding, but it gives the body a lot more life in streams. 